it's real. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, you know, I um, I was, you know, I, I was in the Navy, man. I know. And um, so you know, you know, it's a sheltered military experience, but we still get exposed to certain things that people I don't think normally do. And that and that's kind of like what you say is subversive warfare. If you notice a lot of the the, uh, the soldiers when they come back, they all know what's really going on. You know what I mean? And and that that's mostly what I think makes soldiers go crazy. Is that they know what's going on and everybody around them acting like <laughs> Brain dead. They don't know what's going on. They they still talking about 9/11 and some daggone uh, Taliban. You know what I mean? And, and you you know a hundred percent that there's a hundred documentaries all over the internet that shows you the proof. <laughs> you know what I mean? Of the inside job. You know what I mean? You know this is a. It was you know a a campaign. You know what I mean? So. The the thing is is you know the cure for all of this is what we're doing right now is truthful dialogue piecing together the history and world affairs. We gotta start talking about world affairs. You know? But, but you know what? If you start talking about world uh, uh, world affairs, the first thing you was talking about is how did it become the way it is. That's the first thing you gotta talk about. You gotta talk about how it became what it is. How do you? How how would you think? What would you answer that question? The first thing you must know that the first thing you must know the first premise you must start with how it became the way it is by looking at yourself first. If you look at yourself. The reason you when you place value on currency is because they know that you will place value on currency. And what they think about is this: they are, they never think in the form of the enemy and the other person. Who is the enemy? The inner me. Only one person thinks on the enemy. Only one person thinks on the enemy. And that one person is the person that started this whole thing from going from A to B. Now, it is simply you've been there, I've been there. We have we know who started it. The Romans. The Romans. Uh, the Romans. We, 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 what part did the Romans start? Let me, let me, let me take it. Who would tell you that they the Romans? Who would tell you that person that has no melody in the body would tell you that they are the Romans? Because they rebranded themselves as Italians and Catholics, so Rome still ruled the world, but Rome rules the world through Catholicism, which is a blend between Christianity and Gothic. Um, it's really the I, I trace it back to the Goths, but it could be Rome. But I know the Goths who migrated out of the Caucasus. North, south, east, and west. They also went westward and they sacked Rome. But when I look, when I think about Romans, I'm thinking them. They the latecomers because before the Romans were the Greeks, and before the Greeks, we know that they migrated over from um, Mesopotamia. 
It no, knows. No, 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. That 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 is a very very interesting point, and that that's something that you know when I went to Rome, that's what I wrestled when I when I went to Rome. But I see why. You know, I call it a rebranding of the Romans because they got they had they enslaved most of the world. I mean, in, in the old world, so if they were conquering, that means they was taking people's stuff without permission. So, so means eventually they, they they build a bad reputation for themselves to where like like if you are a Nazi nobody gonna be nobody's gonna be like well maybe some but you're not gonna find a high, a large population of people uh, that's operating as a nation uh, that say we were Nazis. You see what I'm saying? Uh, they're gonna re, you know, they're gonna say I'm German. Um, but I think I think it's just the rebranding. But we know that those got the same bloodline that went down there and and hacked off the tops of the pyramids in the Sudan are the same bloodline of the people that came to the Americas and 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 raped and pillaged every human race. It wasn't just black over here. It was everybody over here trading like human beings. Until they daggum, you know that you know that uh, that verse in the Bible where Christ uh, cast the the demons into the pigs and they run out to sea. Right. Yeah, they came to America. <laughs> yeah, they came into America and went rampage. Woe to the inhabitants of the land and the sea. You see, you see what I'm saying, and, and that's another part we 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 got to go down. Like you said, the history. We we talked about the Pedro brothers. I mean, no, the Nino brothers, Pedro and his brothers, who ushered the Africans, who brought Christopher or Christopher Colombo over here. But at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is, is that the Romans, um. You're right. They took they took conquests to a global. You know they try to conquer the whole globe. You go to Rome, you see those 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 uh their little statues. Right. It's all about global and world dominance and and subduing Africa. You you see this big old white god or man looking deity, and he's laying on the Sphinx. And the Sphinx looks like a pillow, and he's and he's looking in a mirror, and a he has in his other hand a big old uh, basket of fruit. Think about their vanity. They're, they're, they admit they're vain. They're, they're admit, they're admit they're, they know that that, that even their, the the stories of their their mythologies. They're all about their the wars and the destruction and their their ambition is vanity. And and that's 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 why it they know it's gonna come to an end. We are the healers of the planet Earth. 